Good evening and thanks for joining us. I'm Laura Yamada. Paula Akana has the night off. Well, an anguished appeal tonight to end the violence. It comes from some Windward Oahu residents who say three tragedies in five months is just too much to bear. A fatal shooting, an alcohol-related fatal crash, and a fight that has left a young man on life support. KITV 4's Catherine Cruz has the story of three childhood friends and their loved ones who are grieving. A Memorial Day weekend at the Kaneohe Sandbar ended in a fight at Heia Pier. 27-year-old Maka Torres, father of two young children, was found unconscious with serious head injuries. Maka is fighting for his life, and I went to see him yesterday and today, and, you know, it's just devastating. Silva's two other childhood friends died recently. Micah Mench was behind the wheel of a car when it hit a tree near Kualoa. Alcohol was found in the vehicle. Mench and his passenger died at the scene. Mench's funeral was just this weekend. And Castle High School graduate and standout athlete Joel Botello was gunned down in his driveway on New Year's after a fight at a bar continued at his Kaneohe home in what some say was a case of mistaken identity. We're all shedding tears over and over again, and when is it enough for us? You know, I'm running out of tears for a lot of friends. Joel's parents initially planned a vigil to draw attention to the violence that ended their son's life. Now this mother worries about the young children of all three men growing up in the day and age of reality TV shows that glorify bad behavior with no consequences. This is not entertainment value. These are real lives and real people and daddies and they have children and mommies who grieve their sons. An auntie to all of the young men hopes the message is heard loud and clear. So before you go and you do that final act, you stop and you say no. Cool off, back up, and friends, pull your friends back. The family says something good has to happen out of all this tragedy. With everything that's happened, um, I think the, the underlying message needs to be stopping the violence. In Kaneohe, Catherine Cruz, KITV 4 News. The vigil will be held between 4.30 and 7.30 tomorrow night near Benjamin Parker School. The family is encouraging the community to join and bring signs of support and a light.